What is up, everyone? Corn O'Keefe back yet again. And as the title implies, I'm bringing you another collab death battle prediction, folks. And today I got a bunch of badasses joining me. We got Captain Forrest in the house. Hey, everyone. Captain Forrest here. We have Lord Kira. Yo, what's up? We got Rachel. What's up? We got Instinct. Yo, what up? And we even have Debater himself. What's up? And, yeah, we're bringing you a collab death battle prediction for the next death battle, obviously. It's going to be Kool-Aid Man versus the Macho Man, Randy Savage. So, without further ado, here I is going to go over some stuff for Kool-Aid Man. Rachel will give some stuff for Kool-Aid Man. I'll give a little bit of stuff for the Macho Man. Others will come in, give some stuff for both sides, give their overall thoughts. We'll have a discussion, have a fun freaking time. So without further ado, I'm going to hand the mic over to Kira. Yo, what's up? It's Kira, and I'm going to be handling Kool-Aid Man. So now, first thing that we're going to talk about Kool-Aid Man, it's just some basic stuff that we see from the commercials. Now, we know from 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 the Kool-Aid Man and his commercials that in one scene that that just by him existing like created a portal, and and now uh, and now he can also use his portal to, to if he wanted to to be afar or either just come in at any time that where he wants or just to either teleport himself um, from place to place. Now um and now we also have like many things that also come from um the Kool-Aid Man commercials as well like he has age manip himself just by drinking Kool-Aid himself just by you drinking Kool-Aid it can cause you to grow beards it can literally cause you to become young again it can cause you to even grow old as well um and that's just one thing as well he also has a, um biological manipulation as well just by dr again drinking Kool-Aid can make your eyes grow bigger make make you have a face on top of your eyes just some like ju just like some weird shit too as well and also to go on top of that as well he has telekinesis as well just by him just just using his telekinesis like to make all the kids have kool-aid and having it different flavors as well and speaking of kool-aid himself um kool-aid as himself kool-aid man is the actual embodiment of kool-aid himself the actual embodiment so as long as there's still kool-aid he will still be around even if you were to let, let's say for an example like probably like like destroy the glass of kool-aid man he's still gonna be there just because of kool-aid is still on the ground and then even with kool-aid on the ground he can even survive by there even being a little drip of kool-aid a little kool-aid himself but by him doing this as well he can also summon many kool-aid mans as well which which will mean there will be more kool-aid mans that will be on the battlefield as well um, and now this now this stuff right here is coming from the comics as well with with the thirsties but the thirsties themselves in the comics can literally cause volcanic eruptions volcanic eruptions on Hawaii and Kool-Aid man is easily able is easily able to slap to slap them around with um, even by them causing these volcanic eruptions as well another thing too as well also from the commercials as well for Kool-Aid man he can actually become the actual planet itself the actual planet actually the actual planet earth himself there's that as well and then even by him running also from the commercials as well he was able to even destroy the sun and it's in, in, in itself as well more stuff from the commercials as well is him being able to de de defeat opponents who have fourth wall manip and can also use the fourth wall in himself. Also, with the commercials as well, he can use Kool-Aid, make people drink Kool-Aid to even neg their emotions, like even changing their whole ideology in themselves. So basically, if someone is like this big grumpy, like like this big grumpy dude, he can just give them a glass of Kool-Aid and then it's going to change them to, from them being into this grumpy person into being something um, very positive as well. Kool-Aid Man also has some interesting hacks as well, to where to which him him himself can exist in a two B in a in a two D playing field while while he's still three D, and it can be the um in the other range as well. Kool-Aid Man also in the commercials as well has has even outskilled a boxer.
himself, like like an actual bo- an actual trained boxer, and was actually able to like outbox this boxer and able to dodge all of his attacks as well, and overall having more skill than this boxer. Another thing too, as well with the Kool Aid commercials himself, is that Kool Aid Man can also create his own pocket dimensions in his, in his own right. Like literally creating pocket dimensions just by um just by him like jumping from billboard to billboard, and in that billboard it's its own dimension in itself, in which he can also be a far people grab them and be a far them into that playing field as well. Also with with the Kool Aid Man as well, he actually exists. He actually exists within the Warner um which in within the Warner Bros um community, which also means. Uh, that that he knows Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd and himself, and then and then the, and the Kool Aid from over there was able. It's like after Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd was drinking Kool Aid, it caused them to go insane and basically like trying to neg trying to neg each other, or may, may, mainly Bugs Bunny like negging um negging Elmer Fudd just for Kool Aid himself. So just by drinking Kool Aid can literally cause someone to go insane and do and do whatever it takes. Just for them just to have more Kool-Aid. Another thing too as well. Is that Kool-Aid Man also has creation. As well. To where basically he can have like a little small pill. Drop it into Kool-Aid. And it, and it, all, and it has like. Like many different creatures. Like like unknown creatures. Like like extraterrestrial creatures. In it's own right as well. And also creating. And also creating them like their own like little world as well. Um, overall, for Kool Aid Man, he has some really good shit. Um, he can destroy stars. He can he can literally become the planet himself. Um, he can also with speed with, with like speed alone. He can like travel from like con- um, from like continent to continent as well in seconds. Um, and then also then also as well, he was able to like beat the thirsties who ha- who can cause volcanic eruptions on on Hawaii. So that's pretty badass in his own right. So so overall, that's it for um for, that's it for Kool Aid Man. So I'm gonna pass the mic to Corn so he can give his thoughts. All right. So talking about Macho Man, we all know him. He's a legend, a legend in professional wrestling. He's, you know, he represented Slim Jims for for a decent amount of time, and overall, he's a badass. So starting off, speaking of these Slim Jims, right? Starting with those. In these commercials, these Slim Jim commercials, right? Just from biting into a Slim Jim, he can make stuff explode or like combust like very easily. Like, for example, one of the commercials, he walked into like a restaurant and he was like talking to this old lady, stuff was going on. And all of a sudden, he bit into a Slim Jim and made it, the stuff behind her combust into flames. And now, even more impressive. Another commercial that he was in with the Slim Jims, he showcased weather manipulation when he bit into these Slim Jims. For example, the first bite he took literally caused a lightning bolt to come from the clouds and strike like trees in the ground and stuff. So right off the bat, right there, he can like manipulate lightning, weather. He would have massively hypersonic attack speed with that lightning naturally as well going off that and then the next bite he takes he starts making like dust clouds come up and happen and he's like makes like bulls starts to like stampede and then another bite he takes in this same commercial he literally causes a huge tornado like this big ass tornado this big storm and he's like nature ain't it grand and it's yeah it's definitely grand um so right off the bat Good weather manipulation hacks, decent attack speed, decent hacks, decent stuff, and even like attack potency with like the Slim Jims alone. Because like you can get some decent calculations for like conjuring and like creating storms like that or like large tornadoes. Now they vary, but you can get some stuff like the town ranges from it. You can even get up to even far higher, depending on how you go about it, to even like the country ranges. So it's not bad. Um, now also on these Slim Jim commercials, we see him physically bust through like large stone structures. You know, we see him like rip off metal locker doors very casually, you know, bust through like, like walls, 
stuff like that, like solid, like concrete type of stuff. So like even without like the Slim Jim hacks and the potency of that that I've named off, it's like he himself is casually physically like busting through walls, stuff like that on even like a lower scale, you could say just like a low end, for example. So very easy, very, very easily, very casual. So we move on to like other stuff. Macho Man in his wrestling days. Ho oh, baby. Now he's had some legendary matches, right? He's went up against some of the greats. He's wrestled Hogan. Hogan has good feats like scoop slamming a weakened Andre the Giant. Still very impressive because even while weakened, this Andre the Giant was still like a freaking massive giant man and had pretty good feats in his own right, even while weakened. And now Macho Man is obviously a little weaker than like Hogan and them, but he would obviously be in that ballpark because he can contend with guys like that, wrestle them, getting like power grips with them, you know. And speaking of like that, we also know you could potentially, I don't know if they're going to do this, but there's like some comics that, again, I don't know for sure if they're going to bring up, but there's like some feats from Undertaker and other wrestlers that could be interpreted as like universal level. Like in the comics, Undertaker has like universal levels of power consistently implied. He has like certain objects and items and artifacts that can, you know, threaten universes and what have you. And obviously, like, Immortal Hulk Hogan, guys like that, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, The Rock, all those guys, they can at, at least, you know, trade blows. They go back and forth. They're not necessarily, like, one shot in each other, if you know what I'm saying. So if you do go with, like, that scaling, you could probably downscale and argue, down, like, Macho Man downscales, not necessarily, maybe not upscale, but, like, downscale, though, to some degree, since he wouldn't be, like, infinitely weaker than like those guys, he would just be like a, a lesser tier, a lesser degree of that tier. And we also have other stuff like his wrestling background gives him a pretty decent range of skill. You know, grappling, you know, you can argue some judo in there, some extreme crafty stuff, honestly, um, high flying stuff. Um, rear naked chokes, all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, overall, Macho Man is a legit badass in his own right. Um, God rest his soul. He's a legend in wrestling. He's a legend to all of us. And, yeah, with that being said, that pretty much sums up and gives you the gist on the Macho Man himself. Oh, and Speed... To touch up on that briefly, again, even on, like I mentioned earlier, right, he can have lightning fast attack speed because he can, like, summon lightning bolts. So that's, like, massively hypersonic attack speed. He can keep up with other wrestlers who, again, if you use, like, comics or, like, their lore and stuff, you can have, like, lightning time feats for that, light speed stuff, even MFTL stuff if you go off certain things. And even without that, He'd have, like, superhuman speeds, supersonic speeds, again, on the lowest of low ends, which I, I, he's obviously higher. But even, like, a low end, again, like, wall level, casually, supersonic, you know, for his physical stuff, pr probably way higher, you know. And then you have, like, his hacks. You have, like, the Slim Jim stuff. He can, like, make stuff combust. You have his, like, weather manipulation, conjuring freaking hurricanes and storms and tornadoes. He's a tactical wrestler. You know, he has literally plenty of experience at grappling in that background, in that regard. And he's overall just a badass. Oh, yeah, and the Slim Jims can also perform some type of, you know, emotional manip. They can like, kind of manipulate the emotions of others, too, make them happier, stuff like that, if they're down in the dumps. So not bad, not bad. That out of the way, I'm going to pass the mic over to Forrest Green here, Captain Forrest. Let him give his thoughts on who he thinks is going to take victory more often than not. Okay, so 
looking at both combatants now i don't know a, a whole lot about uh, macho man even though corin has given a pretty nice uh, detailed explanation of macho man's stats and abilities he has some impressive feats of his own in terms of ap speed some hacks same thing with kool-aid man uh, i know a little bit just a tiny bit not too much but i do know a little bit about like uh, kool-aid man i wanted to bring this up there was a a statement as well in the uh comic um a one of the marvel humans state this that um kool-aid man in terms of like ap like this would probably be a high end perhaps depending on how you interpret scaling uh, is comparable to the hulk so this would be like classic hulk like back in the classic days which is actually pretty impressive um especially going off uh, the statement uh, that uh, kirai mentions as well which is pretty pretty impressive um if you use like both characters like at their peak you know terms like you know universal or uni plus or ho however you scale it it's pretty interesting um kool-aid man has a has a ton of hacks of his own uh, good resistances too so definitely help him in the fight i'm not 100 i'm not 100 like sure who'd win per se but i would like lean more so to like kool-aid man just like looking at like overall impressive like um resistances and hacks and stuff um if it was like death battle i think they may depending on you know in terms of like uh and like more of a subjective point of view um they may lean more so to like you know macho man i guess just to pay respects they could do that too or they might lean more to more so to call it man depending on who uh they have as researchers so it literally just depends on you know like they may look at things from a logical aspect but they do tend to like sometimes be a little bit subjective in some of their uh, reasonings but like that's just like my like thoughts at least going into it but personally um i'm rooting more so for like kool-aid man because just what i've seen in terms of like stats and just uh, you know my favorite character of course but yeah those are my thoughts overall uh if anyone else would like to chip in they're more than welcome to yeah i can like talk a little bit more here um so yeah i also got uh kool-aid man uh uh taking this um i don't know they're they're like exactly what they're gonna use but for we're from what we have right here like in this prediction um i'm gonna go with kool-aid man uh got a bunch of like they both got like ridiculous hacks so they're just wacky as fuck so they can like counter some other shit but like i feel like kool-aid man got some of the wackier shit what was the what was the speed for both of these guys like so anyone got like i know i know uh, uh marshall man i mentioned he he ranges from like anywhere from supersonic, light speed, to even MFTO plus, depending on how you go about it. And he also has at least like lightning fast attack speed because he can like summon lightning bolts too. So that's like attack speed right there, master hypersonic casual. Okay. What was Kool Aid Man's speed again? And then for Kool Aid Man was able to travel um to to continent to continent in seconds. Mm. I would just say depending on 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 what they use. I might edge out with Kool-Aid, feel like AP and shit, but like, I don't know exactly like, they're, they're like, I don't know, maybe they, they find some other like speed shit that we don't know about, or maybe they found like some wacky hacks we don't know about, but, but yeah, for my take, I would say, uh, Kool-Aid man via, uh, some hacks and, uh, AP. All right, instinct, you're up. All right, so I heard, I heard both in Corn's interpretation and Kira's interpretation for like both sides. And as far as who win, I would actually have to lean towards Kool Aid Man in, in this in this one because like the superior hacks and maybe AP, the speed. I don't know about the speed, but I know they both have some ridiculous hacks. like. 
it's really wacky for both sides, honestly. But in this regard, in this in this battle, I'm gonna have to side with Kool Aid Man more often than not. All right, Kira, I want to give your final thoughts. Yes, yes. For my final thoughts on this, I also do have Kool Aid Man also winning this too as well, just because of the AP, just because like the AP and the AP advantage, and also with the loads of hacks that Kool Aid Man does have. Uh, I think I, I think that I forgot to mention was about like Kool Aid Man's like heat resistances too as well because um because of the thirsties themselves are like is like literal is like literal heat itself you know you know that's what they're made of is literal heat and, and Kool Aid Man himself uh can literally like fight them and be next to them and and still and still like be have resistances to it um there was even one commercial too as well to where he ate some spicy salsa and then he drank Kool Aid. Just to um, just to nag the heat, so there is that as well. Uh, for speed, I am gonna give it to um to Macho, just because for having like for having the speed advantage. But overall, I just think Kool Aid's AP hacks and, and just his uh, and just everything else overall is just gonna get the upper hand on Macho. So, so that that's my thoughts. All right, right on, and I guess for my final thoughts. This is definitely, even though, yeah, it's one of those kind of battles where it, it's kind of like a, a, so to speak, joke battle. It's like, kind of, but they're still going to like have feats involved. It's still going to be like a battle, a death battle. I'm not sure how the ending is going to be. Like, if it's going to be like Deadpool and Pinkie Pie type of stuff, or um, a Sega guy versus Chuck Norris kind of ending. I don't know. I mean, but, I mean, looking at it from the feats, right, and who will more likely win, it is kind of difficult to say inherently for me because they both do have ranges, like multiple ranges where one could be above the other, one could be below the other, or vice versa. And they both have a lot of crazy stuff to work with. Heck, I'm sure there's even some stuff out there that, you know, I get mentioned in the video that some maybe haven't even seen in years or you know it's just so far underground or some old ass commercial we may have missed you know or something that's like so but going off what we've mentioned in here it's a good amount and if we go if they do like find a way to scale Marshall man to like these the universal interpretations then he may have ap but again i don't see him inherently scale into that and he if he would at a downscale but there's also like the Kool-Aid arguments too to get him you know to similar levels or higher than you know freaking macho man I almost said molecule man but no macho man uh, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah and like and obviously we know like walls in Marvel are like high hyper reversal because like in, you know a single atoms like complex, infinitely large, so you know they might just give him high hyper for busting a wall, so who knows I just think this is going to be a fun match Could I could see either side having arguments being made here to take victory so overall just a fun time I don't, I don't disagree with what the others say about Cooley Man why they think he would win but I can see stuff being made for Marshall Man too. So right now I'm I'm like fifty fifty myself. But I'm looking forward to a good time. Any anyone else have any other thoughts they want to give? Well, I guess that's all she wrote. Hope y'all enjoyed this video for what it actually was. Go subscribe to all these badasses. Everybody say peace. 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 Subscribe to Lord Kira and I fucked your mom. <laughs>